and today to kickstart our new season of learning is Dr. Chris Matheny, the president over at Fox Valley Technical College. Dr. Matheny, good to see you. Welcome back to the show. Great to be with you, Haley. Happy start of the school year. Yeah, it's a beautiful day outside and uh, can't ask for a better start, right? No, and to walk through campus and take advantage of all that Fox uh, Valley Tech has to offer. It's it's a it's a beautiful place uh, to learn and to and to work. I would imagine. Yeah, I left our campus today. Saw so our surveying students out on the grounds, uh, practicing their skills, and so there's there's just nothing better than that. All right. Well, let's. Uh, you're two years into your role as president uh, at Fox Valley Tech. Can you believe that it's been two years? Uh, no, it's gone really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> But the uh, the second full school year upon you, um, you're a few weeks in though. It, it, you've started, I believe, in August. Yeah, uh, we started late August yeah. and uh, welcomed our faculty back about mid August, and then uh, students back the week after that. So we've been at this for for a few weeks now. All right. So first thoughts on the start of the fall semester at Fox Valley Tech. What's the highlight reel been like for for everyone? Yeah, so the highlight's really what I mentioned earlier, and that's always for me as students and having our students come back and fill yeah. our hallways and campuses and uh, get to see and feel the energy back in the building. Uh, I've had a number of faculty and staff comment to me over the last weeks that um, it's starting to feel normal again. Uh, parking lots are filling up. I'm having trouble finding a parking spot. So uh, I always love when uh, people come in and, and say to me that they can't find a spot in our lots, and I'm, I'm very happy about that because that means that our classrooms and labs are full of students who are learning and figuring out what they want to do with their lives uh, and and preparing for their careers. Interesting. Curiosity, do you have a number of students that are studying currently at Fox Valley Tech? Are you able to put a a bracket on that at how many students you, you are currently serving? Yeah, uh, it, you know, it varies a bit, but uh, typically we have around 8,000 degree and diploma students. So those are students who are, are seeking some sort of uh, credential. And then uh, if you take and, and look at all the students that we serve in a given year, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of forty to 50,000. Uh, we do an awful lot of continuing education work. And so we're touching you know, one in 10 people in, in our region uh, nearly every year. And many of those students yeah, maybe still in high school or, or uh, coming back for a, a second career opportunity. So all, all ages and all uh, everyone represented, I would imagine. Yeah, we have a, a child care center on campus too. So <laughs> eight months to 80 and uh, everything uh, before and after. I'm one of those child care center kids, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I thought that you might be. <laughs> I was. <laughs> well, let's talk about um, what's trending career-wise. We always see waves of of, of careers that um, maybe come and go. What's in demand in 2023? Where are you seeing the most interest for students? Yeah, I think the real and short answer is everything. Mm. Uh, you know, you're well acquainted with the workforce challenges that we've had. I know mm. you've had lots of guests on your show talking about uh, the need for for skilled workers. No doubt. Uh, that happens across the industries. So we're talking about everything from IT to healthcare to cybersecurity to business disciplines, the marketing, uh, culinary, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, service professions in which we need child care workers. And so every time I talk to employers, uh, what they talk about is people, people, people. Right. We, we need to, to get more people. And so uh, that's really where we've started to, to look at alternative programming. You mentioned dual credit. Uh, we've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this initial taste and uh, short term certificates into people's hands so that they can start work right away. Uh, go to work for our employers, you know, contribute to the, the good, great life that we have here uh, in the Fox River Valley and still continue their education. And that's really been uh, the priority for us. That employment placement still around 100 percent for students at the moment? Well, I'd like to say everything's 100 yeah. percent, but uh, we have, you know, uh, tens of programs, uh, dozens of programs actually that are in the 100 percent placement range. Not every student uh, gets placed right away within six months of their graduation, but our overall placement as well, our overall placement is as well above 80% for students who complete their degrees. That's fantastic. And within six months, that's a pretty good window of time, mm -hmm. too. Uh, people might not realize, though, when students are not in session, there's a lot of strategic planning going mm -hmm. on and, and, and idea opportunities and brainstorming for what can make that next school year or the 24-25 school year a success. I'm curious, yeah. uh, what are strategic priorities for 23-24 for at Fox Valley Tech? 
Yeah, well, our strategic priorities really haven't changed. We focus our efforts in, in four areas, on our students, on our team and organization, on our regional employers, and on our community partners. And so we've got different initiatives that are going on with each, within each of those areas, but that's, that's really where our focus is at. Uh, students first, right, uh, primarily on our students, which helps feed our team's energy, uh, gets our regional employers who they need, and then looking and working with our community partners on some of those alternative programming uh, areas that I uh, was talking about earlier. All right. We're talking with Dr. Chris Matheny here today with Fox Valley Technical College. We'll take a short break. When we come back, though, more of the local connections Dr. Matheny is making as we focus on careers with Fox Valley Tech right here on WHBY. We're back with more of our Focus on Careers segment with Fox Valley Technical College. Dr. Chris Matheny, president of Fox Valley Technical College, joining us here today. And uh, Dr. Matheny, I, I would imagine your programs are getting a lot of calls from local businesses about how many students are graduating this year we're looking to hire. And like you mentioned, I, I very much so am hearing from organizations all the time on, on they're looking for workers. So how are you responding to that? Are you connecting with local businesses? Are you are you taking those phone calls, looking to connect students to the workforce? What does that look like uh, in, in 2023 right now? Yeah, we're, we're always taking uh, phone calls from our local business partners. And what I would say is that it's they're, they're not even waiting till graduation, right? Mm. They're looking at how many students are coming into these programs? How do we help recruit students into these programs? Uh, things as diverse as a, apprenticeship and, as I mentioned earlier, uh, early childhood education and culinary, really partnering with those uh, business partners to train their future workforce. Uh, they know their future workforce. They can't just wait for students to come out fully skilled and, and graduated. Uh, and so we're looking to, to figure out how to drive that education deeper and, and drive those connections even deeper with our local with our local employer partners. It reminds me almost of, of athlete signings uh, yeah. and, and early on in, in, in their careers potentially too to get those early signing bonuses. It is a competition. I think there are uh, progressive organizations that are looking at doing that. Uh, uh, we see a lot of that, particularly in the apprenticeship areas. You know, this is an old model, a hundred plus year old model in which you're taking people who don't have skills but have great potential, uh, putting them through both a workplace experience and an academic experience or a, an on, on-site hands learn, hands-on learning experience with the college, uh, employing them along the way, uh, and it's really it's really a great opportunity. They are you asked about 100% employment programs. Mm -hmm. All of our imp apprentices are 100% employed by definition of the work they're doing, and some of them as journey workers are earning upwards of 85 or 90 thousand dollars a year at the end of their apprenticeship. So it's really a great career opportunity, and I advise all you know my my kids, friends, parents, and everybody else to take a look at those options as well. I think your your eyes would be quite wide to see some of the yearly salaries those hands-on workforces are are able to offer. Yeah, our our average salaries are north of fifty thousand dollars a year for mm -hmm. graduates six months out. That's with a you know a two year associate degree or a technical diploma and a, a year or less. Uh, and very little, uh, if any, college debt, right? So there's a lot of discussion going on about college debt. Our degree programs, you know, can be finished for, you know, less than $10,000 in some cases. And so that might buy you a semester elsewhere. Uh, and that's a great choice for those who want and can afford to do that. Uh, but our students have an opportunity to go on and do those things after that as well while earning a living. And it's it's a really great opportunity. Yeah, the path to employment can start even as early as when you are in, in high school. I want to ask about that dual credit program. You mentioned that earlier. And when you're a high school student, you can attend classes at Fox Valley Tech. Share some of the highlights of that program, if you could, Dr. Matheny, and um, maybe if there's any gaps that you're working on with that, too. Yeah, so I'd, I'd just say you can not only attend classes at Fox Valley Tech, you can attend classes right in your own high school. We have high school teachers who are certified to teach dual credit. Uh, we have val very talented K-12 partners who can do this work. Uh, we provide them with curriculum and help them understand the programming requirements, and they're teaching their high school students our curriculum. And so those students who are participating in that coursework uh, get both their high school transcript uh, requirements fulfilled and can create a transcript at Fox Valley Tech and get a jump start on uh, their college education. So wow. 
Uh, last year, that was about 6,700 students uh, across our district, 28 uh, K-12 uh, schools that we serve. Um, and that number continues to go up and up and up. Our, we work and listen to our high school partners all the time tell us that what they really want is uh, kids who are graduating who are, who are career and college ready, uh, and dual credit is a way to do both. Well, you mentioned K-12. Now I'm thinking, can my kindergartner get some college credits, Chris? <laughs> uh, we might have some placement exams that we need to put put that uh, 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 student through, but we'll we'll get there eventually, right? It's incredible. Wow. As we kind of wrap up this this first segment, and thank you so much for, for joining us to kind of kickstart this. It's been really fun to do this over the past couple of years. I know our listeners really enjoy it too because they're curious just just as I am about where people are looking to work. Yeah. Your outlook on the year, what are you hoping for? Any goals that you've set for, for the college? Yeah, I think uh, biggest goal is get people exposed to the opportunities that are available at Fox Valley Tech. We've got uh, over 200 degree and diploma and certificate programs for students, parents, grandparents, community members, just if they're interested to come take a look at. And while we're talking about that, Haley, I'll just put in a little plug for our annual open house, which yes. is October 3rd. Uh, so for your listeners out there who may just have curiosity about what the technical college looks like or what Fox Valley Tech specifically looks like these days, come out and join us at any of our campuses or regional centers October 3rd three to seven uh, all of our programs will be on display we'll be have a you know the welcome mat rolled out for anybody who wants to come take a look at uh, how their technical college functions or if you're just nosy check it out just nosy absolutely <laughs> come look it's a beautiful space it, absolutely all right dr chris Matheny joining us thank you so much for your time today best of My luck pleasure. Uh, with, with the you. school year and we'll be talking with many of the employees of fox valley tech those instructors over the course of the next about well seven months or so as we finish out the school year Appreciate thanks that. again chris yeah take care all right we'll take a short break